online sales. Mm -hmm. What is your response to doctors who say, how do I combat online sales? Well, uh, I wanted to get some first-hand experience in, in online uh, optical mm -hmm. uh, uh, purchasing. And so a few months ago, I did. I went on the three top sites and I ordered a pair of glasses for myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see what the experience was like. Um, one of the sites uh, provided a very easy, uh, straightforward experience. Uh, the product that I got in was good, and it was um, uh, at a decent price. It wasn't a uh, uh, heavily discounted price. Uh, one offered a pretty um, less than fulfilling experience, and the other one was just kind of okay. Um, I think online um, uh, optical retailing is here to stay. Uh, it's currently 3% of the market. It'll probably go to 10, 10 or 12% of the market. Mm -hmm. Uh, the real question is, is it going to expand the overall size of the market? Will it help to increase consumption of eyewear units? Um, I believe that's the case. Uh, it will happen. I believe um, independent practitioners and chain practitioners have to respond with their own online initiatives. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to give the customer what uh, they're looking for. Um, and they have to make buying eyewear easy and fun. That's why a lot of the outreach efforts that I see top performing practices uh, doing consist of uh, sending emails with pictures of new frames that have come in. I know of practices that have even uh, gone so far as to hire full-time staff who Photoshop frames onto pictures of patients and send them out. Mm -hmm. I know of one practice in Massachusetts whose uh, revenue is almost 15% uh, almost of their total revenue is generated by sending out pictures of patients with a, a frame photoshopped on them. So they take a picture of the patient, every patient has a photo on file. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so the opticians, uh, when it's a little bit slower during the day, will say, okay, we've got uh, uh, you know these 10 patients up for mm -hmm. the day, so to speak. And what they'll do is they'll, um, they'll say, you know what, I think uh, this frame would look good. Style X would look great mm -hmm. on Joe and style Y would look fantastic on Patricia. And so they do an online styling, and then they send it out to the patient who's opted in for this uh, recommendation. So it becomes like a personal shopper. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular practice, I can tell you, is closing almost 40% of the offers that they make. And uh, the only time they ever really see the patient uh, is to come back in for an exam um, or for an adjustment. Uh, they've developed a, um, uh, a following all over the world that buys glasses this way. So I think that's one way that the independent can respond to online and uh, use it. And it's at a scale that they can control too. It's not like so overwhelming. It's really yeah. doable within their, you know, the size of what they're practicing. Yeah, absolutely. About. And the key is to have it personalized and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, have somebody understand you. Um, I have a, a store where I buy uh, things in Southern California where um, I've actually been there twice. Um, I've done 28 transactions with them over the last four years. Why is that? There's a salesperson there who calls me all the time, sends me emails, hey, I've got this or, or that. I got this shirt actually from, <laughs> uh, from them. It was one of a, a packet of shirts mm -hmm. that she sent me. Um, and I think I've sent back two items. In but total. it's relationship-based. Totally relationship -based. Just using the technology within the context of a relationship. Absolutely. And I think one of the biggest um, uh, problems in optical today is that we're selling ourselves short. Mm -hmm. We stop selling after the first frame for the most part, whereas a lot of customers, patients, mm -hmm. consumers, whatever you want to call them, uh, are just getting started at one frame, mm -hmm. where in fact they are willing and able to buy multiple frames and Iowa wardrobes, but quite often we're ready to just move them down the door after they bought, uh, uh, move them down the trail after they bought one frame. So well, as a by, patient, yeah. I didn't know it was an option to buy more than one. Oh, you didn't? No, I was I shocked. Know. I was like, wait, you can't. Once I started working for Climate Performance Partners and started working with doctors, I thought, oh. I just would go in as a patient and assume I would just buy one pair. That was my mindset. Yeah. So nobody educated me as a patient that there were options, like that I could, in fact, have three or four pairs of glasses. Oh, absolutely. I, I think the, uh, the key to this is you know, writing the multiple prescriptions, mm -hmm. like we talked about, mm -hmm. making sure that the handoff 
is uh, clean and knowledgeable and uh, informative and uplifting. Mm -hmm. It can be a 10 or 15 second transaction between the optician, the patient, and the doctor. Uh, and if that's done right, it's magic what happens actually in the uh, optical sales area. Three frame sales, six frame sales, it's uh, quite astounding.